Okay, we're talking about the unit one project, cloning yourself. So there are a couple steps to this project that hopefully you've already done, and if not, you can pause and come back to it. Step number one is to brainstorm and plan. Spend some time thinking through your creative choices for this project. And you have your brainstorm, your sketchbook right here to brainstorm in. The second step of the project was to go ahead and take your photos. The key to taking these photos was keeping your camera still and um, having some creative ideas about where and how to take them. Third step, this might be where you are if you're watching this video. You need to upload or download or get these photos onto your computer somehow, onto the device that you're gonna use to edit them. You can email. I typically feel as though students have the most success emailing. You could also try using your Google Drive, uploading them from Schoology, or if you have access to AirDrop, you could AirDrop them. Step four is where we're gonna edit the images. This demo is gonna live here in just a moment. So let's take a look. I have my images ready to go. I've already put them on my desktop and I went ahead and renamed them. I only have four images, but I am challenging you all to have five. So here are my four images. I just simply named them M1, M2, M3, M4. Why M? I don't know, I thought me. And my first initial starts with M. As long as you know where they are and what they're named, that's important. I'm gonna go ahead and go into Photopea. I'm not gonna click New Project. Instead, I'm gonna to go to File, Open, or Open from Computer, and I'm gonna tell you why. Your photos might import as a different size depending on the device you open them up on. And so I don't wanna give you one set size to do this on. You can do it on any size you want. And I'll show you at the end if you wanna change the size how to do that. So I have one photo ready to go and it's labeled background in here. It doesn't really matter, we can change this later. I'm now just gonna drag my other photos right into Photopia and they're gonna go right on top. But I disappear in the back and the reason for that is check out my layers. I can turn them on or off. Okay, here's my third, dropping it in and my fourth. Okay, so I'm gonna change this name to be M1 so that we can follow along and not get confused. So the goal is that I wanna show all four versions of myself. P.S. you're gonna have five. So what I need to do is I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up. And we're gonna use masks to be able to do this. I make this full size. Okay. So here's my um, first image. I'm gonna turn these two off for now. I want myself back here to appear on this image here, on this layer here. So what I'm gonna do is on M2, I'm gonna create a mask. And I'm gonna make sure that that mask is selected and it's selected with the marching ants going around it. If I click here, now the, the image itself is selected. If I click here, the mask is selected. I wanna make sure I'm on the mask itself. I'm gonna grab my paintbrush and I'm gonna make my paintbrush, I'm gonna lower the hardness really far down and I can change the size with my brackets or I can come up to this menu to do it. And I'm gonna paint out an area, almost create like a hole here so that I appear where I am back here in the photo in the layer below. White reveals, black conceals. So I'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger and I have to paint with black here. I'm gonna flip these two little arrows there we go. And you can see that I showed up here. Now let's talk about what exactly is happening, how that actually came to be. Well, 
if you look at the mask, I've painted out a little black area. I've made almost like a little hole that's revealing the layer under here. I'll show you on the next one. I'm gonna turn the next layer on. Now, there's two of me that I want to reveal. I want to reveal me back here and me over on this side. So I'm gonna turn this layer on. I need to make sure this layer is selected. Then I'm gonna create the mask and I wanna make sure the mask is selected. And now I'm painting with black. I'm gonna reveal me back here and I need to reveal the me over here. Okay, again, let's look at the mask. I've made two holes here so that the layer underneath shows through. Let's try the last one. I'm gonna turn the last layer on. Now I'm gonna to need to make sure that layer is selected, create a mask, and now I need to make the other versions of me show up. Now this is where I have an overlap. So I need to be a little bit careful. When I was doing these figures over here, I just sort of loosely painted on top. It wasn't that big of a deal if I um, was very careful, but where I have my overlap, I need to be a little bit more cautious. If I make a mistake or I need to go back, I can just reverse and now paint in white to bring back the layer on top, or basically I'm making the hole smaller. But I don't, I don't want to erase that version of me back there. So I might need to go back and flip back to painting with black. Another way you can flip is pressing the um, X key on your keyboard, the letter X. I might need to make my brush a little bit so smaller and I might need to zoom in and sort of take my time and be a little more patient. Okay, not terrible. When I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Save as Photoshop, I haven't saved yet, that's a mistake, I should have saved it halfway through. And I'm gonna name this first name, underscore, uh, let's do unit one project. And I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Can't wait to see what you create.